What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, the thing is this. So, Inouye Inoue has now came out on his social media and told the world pretty much that he is going, he's following the rules. And he is staying within the rules of Japanese boxing. And this is something that we spoke about on yesterday's live stream, given the controversy that broke out of the accusations that came from the Stephen Fulton team of Monster Inoue uh, doing a technique called stacking, in which he was putting tape on his skin and then, you know, putting gauze on top of that, then tape on top of that and gauze on top of that and so on and so forth. So normally in a lot of cases, when you're wrapping your hands, fight fans, the tape is normally the last thing to kind of go on in certain situations. Now, you know, this technique known as stacking has been controversial for years. A lot of boxing trainers believe that you can build a cast around your hand uh, by doing this technique, also making the person a harder puncher. Now, there's also some boxing trainers out there that state that they do this to protect their fighters hands. And so they put extra layers around certain parts of the hand. You're not adding no more gauze and tape than that's regulated. It's just a, it's a whole different technique. Now, however, we also know with this method, it's not totally outlawed in boxing. Some commissions accept it. Some commissions doesn't. It's the same way it happens here in the United States where you have many different commissions per state. And so each commission may have a different set of rules governing that technique. And so Monster NUA is coming out and saying, hey, out in Japan, which is something that I stated on yesterday's live stream out in Japan, this is accepted. We do not know the Japanese Boxing Commission's bylaws. So we cannot sit back and say whether or not this is cool or not. Now, you may have your own personal feelings about it. But once again, like I said yesterday, that's pretty much your business. As far as Monster Inoue staying within the, the rules and labeling him as a cheater, well, you just can't do it. Because if the Japanese boxing rules state that this is okay, clearly what Inoue is saying, then we got nothing to see here, fight fans. And we're heading to uh, July 25th. So, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't look like much is going to change. I haven't heard anything come from Team Fulton of him pulling out of the fight. I also recall when um, Stephen Fulton's coach uh, sat on the stage and stated that he will pull his fight out. Well, Stephen Fulton looked at him like, excuse me? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think they, they discussed that over. So I don't think that Stephen Fulton will be down to pull out of this fight, even with the current situation being as it is. Um, I think we're going to head forward towards this fight. Now, afterwards of this, you know, being known, if Monster Inoue knocks out Stephen Fulton, you can please believe there's going to be legions of fans saying that, oh, man, his gloves were stacked and that's the key to his power. He's not really a knockout artist. He's doing this and that and the third with the gloves and with the hand wraps and so on and so forth. It's very unfortunate, but things are definitely going to fall that way, given that this information is out here in the public. It ain't going to change people's minds, man. They're, if if NUA wins, they're going to say he's this and he's that and this and this is this. So, Stephen Fulton team kind of uh, putting this out there, which they are not the first. I mean, these type of concerns have been taken up with NUA in the past. But, unfortunately, them putting this out there currently now, well, I don't know if Monster NUA is going to get full credit if he's to stop Stephen Fulton. But we'll see. I'm going to give him credit. I believe he's operating within the rules. You cannot be mad at the fighter in this instance. Be mad at the commissions. Be mad at the um, non-universal policies that governs boxing where every territory or state or country you go to, the rules change. You got to basically blame boxing, you know, and these fighters are just operating under the rules that have been set before. So it is what it is. May the best man win. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock the bells. Catch up with y'all soon. To the next video, man. Peace out.